Our next example in the grid is to look at the row element. So again, I've got the template open. I'm going to remove the Hello World header. As before, I add into this the container. Now inside the container this time, we're going to add the row. So as before, all we've done is created another div element and given it the class row. I'm going to copy this and paste it below. So there's no need to put each of the rows inside a separate container. The only reason we would ever want to do that is if we wanted to have different colored backgrounds within those containers. And then obviously we would have to put them inside a separate container. But in this case, the purpose of the row is really to clear the row above it. So this will become more important when we start to put columns in later on. So in order for us to be able to see that, let's put inside here another well like we did in the previous example. I'll copy that entire element, paste it in here and just change the name. Save that. And this time we can see that we have two rows and they're clearing each other. And that's the main part of what the row is to do. So as we put columns inside each of these rows, they will always clear each other. And no matter what happens, they'll be pushed down to clear the row above.